Morning guys, we're just off now to go and have a bit of breakfast. I don't know if you can see Dover Castle in the background. Let's have a look. Look at that, what a lovely view. So we're just gonna have a bit of breakfast in table table. Then we've got to go and get a yucca plant. I know, or something like that, some sort of plant um, to put in our um, to put in our lounge. So we're gonna do that. Have a bit of breakfast and I'm off painting again before everybody comes tomorrow so it's dry. Right guys, that's my breakfast to sort the day off. I'll have that and a bowl of, bowl of cocoa pops. Girls are still getting theirs at the moment. They're doing toast and everything. I don't bother with that. Well guys, we just had a lovely breakfast. Let's have a quick look at Dover Harbour and everything. Now we're off to go and get this bloody yucca plant or whatever plant it's called and a pot for it for the lounge. What do you think to that? Is it called a yucca plant? We're in B&M guys. I'm just looking at my plant for the um, lounge at the moment because I quite like these. I keep looking at them. Poppy, see what it's called? Is it called a yucca plant? Yeah. Well, it is called a yucca plant. Yeah, Y-U-C-C-A. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting that actually. £25, that's not too bad. Mind you, I've got to buy a pot. Probably pay about 20 quid for a bloody pot though. Mm, they're the only ones I've really got. Mm, that one, whatever that is. I like the yucca plant. Guys, I've just got back um, from the Indian takeaway. It's so bloody cheap here. I've just got it for me, Poppy, Lucy. Two kormas, one chicken curry. Uh, three peel of rice, chapatis, poppadoms, £29. I'll show you in a minute. Guys, check that out. Chicken curry, peel of rice, chapatis, poppadoms, dips. Look at that. Under 30 quid. It's unbelievable. Morning, guys. A happy Easter to everyone. Well, I've had bugger all sleep. Um, couldn't sleep last night. Clocks have gone forward. And it's now 7.30 in the morning. I've had to get up to get the dinner organised for everyone coming today. Here's what I'm cooking today for our gastronomic meal. So as you see, you've got a couple of Yorkshire, a couple of bags of Yorkshires. I haven't got time to make them. Runner beans, broccoli, there's a turkey, nice bit of ham, gammon, bacon, sausages for the pigs in blankets, sausage meat for the stuffing. Cut the bags of potatoes, um, three bags of parsnips, we've got carrots. So that is today's Sunday dinner. And guys, why I think about it, check the room out now. I actually finished it yesterday. Look at that. I've done all my glossing yesterday. I'm well pleased with it. That's looking lovely. I'll stop winding Marley. Lucy's going to take you out in a minute. Marley's acting like a little baby this morning because he wants to go out, don't you? Yeah, there we go, guys. So it is now totally finished, this kitchen. My God, am I glad as well. Right, guys, I've just made up the pigs and blankets. They're all ready. Stuffing next. I think Marley's hungry. Are you hungry, boy, Marley? Check this out, Lucy's just come down and gave me an Easter egg. Look at that, a nice Yorkie Easter egg. And my favorite, Cadbury's cream eggs. Be eating them later. Hannah's just informed me she's bringing her friend today. So I'm cooking for 11 people, no pressure. Anyway, turkey's in the oven, pigs and blankets are done. I've just done the stuffing. Here's how that's looking. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to lay everything out on here, everybody help yourself. Bosh, they can pick what they want, eat what they want, and that's it. Poppy's got the magic hand when it comes to... <laughs> honey. Honey. Honey and parsnips. Yes. Guys, Judy's just turned up and she's doing a bit of strimming. We love a bit of strimming on Easter. It looks she's getting excited. Are you getting excited? <laughs> oh, 
Guys, we've got these growing in our garden. Has anybody got a clue what they are? It's a squishy thing, but we're just intrigued what it is. Comment below if you know what this is. Poppy thought it was a bloody orange, but it's too, we don't know what it is, it's all squishy. You're doing a good job there, Jude. Oh yeah, that's looking better, isn't it? Cool, it's lovely and sunny today as well. Judy's been on this for about an hour already. Strimming and chopping and brushing and whatever. Right guys, that is our Easter Sunday dinner today. Check that out. If I must say so, it looks damn good. Everybody's all ready and starving. That's what you call a nice Easter roast dinner. Look at that. Morning guys. Well, it's bank holiday Monday. Um, we're just, I'm just waiting for Judy, she's having a shower and we're gonna take Poppy back to Ramsgate. Might even pop in spoons there for a change. Even though it's more expensive than Dover. Do you know, in Dover, I don't get this. So the spoons in Ramsgate and Margate for a fried breakfast, traditional breakfast, is £5.79, Dover £3.14, how is that, that's mad, the meals are a couple of quid cheaper, so I'm loving it, anyway, we got the, the doggies a little Easter present yesterday, have a look at this, so that's, that's Charlie's one, Charlie's got that one haven't you Charlie, that's your one, and that's Marley's one, there you go Miles, they both got little toys didn't you, you got little Easter toys, Anyway guys, come and check out the weather outside with me. It's typical bank holiday weather, which means it's cold. It's sunny, but it's cold. <sighs> there you go, look at that. There's a castle. What an amazing view every day. Look at that. That's a lovely view every day. Well, believe it or not, on Bank Holiday Monday, Lucy's gone uni to do some work she's got to do. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to go Ramsgate. Oh, we still got a bit of turkey left, bit of stuffing. That's Marley drinking water, the sound effects, not the toilet. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go Ramsgate, drop Poppy off. He left, bit of stuffing left. So I think we're going to get a bit of quiche, bit of salad, a few pickles, and have a, like, a little cold meat salad tonight. My favourite. What's wrong with you over weekend? Say hi, Ben. Hi, mate. Devon. Cheers, guys. <laughs> we are in Dover Weatherspoons, and it's a culture shock to Ramsgate. You remember on my vlogs what Ramsgate looks like. Check this out. That's how it looks. That's how it looks. That is Dover Weatherspoons, guys. Not a patch on Ramsgate, I've got to say that, is it, Judy? Never. Here's a quick look at Dover High Street, guys. Hey, come on, just walk through it. Guys, in the town, they've got a fig. It's called a vapour. We're going to walk through it. This is in the middle of the town, guys. It's cool. some sort of vapour thing. We're going through it. We're going through it. We're going to be heroes. Come on. There you go, You don't even get wet. Neighbour the same. So there's a bit of the high street in Dover. Oh look, there's Castle up there. Guys, Marley's show you his new toy. What you got, Marley? Look, he's got his new Easter toy. I oh, mean, your moles. Have you got your new Easter toy? Oh yeah. What's Charlie doing? Oh Charlie's got the new sausages one, haven't you Charlie? You've got sausages. That's a new one as well. That's Charlie's one sausages. You silly boys, aren't ya? Right guys, since I've lived here, me and Judy said we're gonna attempt that. 
is to walk right up to the top of Dover Cliffs, Western Heights. God almighty, she's off. I'll tell you what, boys, I can't keep bloody hell jogging. What's the matter with her? Don't you start jogging, going up steps. I can't do all that. We're going to attempt it, guys. Guys, we found the next bit to go on. I keep driving by here and seeing people on top of the cliffs. Western Heights, Gateway to Kent, Downs, area of outstanding natural beauty. Oh, bloody hell, guys, I can keep up with her. What's the matter with her? I mean, she's on steroids or something. Look at her. Oh, my God. What's the matter with her? I'm going to have a sit down halfway through. Guys, it's a bloody mountain to climb. Honestly, it's a bloody mountain. Halfway there, guys. Look at that. Guys, I'm out of breath. We've made it to the top. Look at that. What a view. By the way, we're going on that ferry in a fortnight's time. We're going to vlog a day trip to France on there. We're still climbing. Check that out, guys. Look at that. There's Dover Docks, p &O. Ready to go to France. I can see France, Judy. There's France over there. I don't know if you'll see it on the camera. I'm going to zoom in slowly. There's France over there in the background. Look at that, that's beautiful, isn't it? I could do it for a pint now. <laughs> it's still climbing. Look. <laughs> it must be the Pinot wine that's making her climb. Definitely not for me. Bloody hell, what's she doing jogging? Guys, we're so high now, I feel as though I'm on Mount Everest. Seriously. There's DFS coming in. DFDS. Wow, what a view. Cut clear Francis over there, Judy. Check that view out guys, here's another view, we've just had a little walk round. There's Dover train station. We're trying to work out what this is and how to get to it, but we can't work out how to get to it. We definitely know it's not Dover Castle, because that's behind us. But we don't know what this is. Guys, if any of you know what this is, comment below, because I'm dying to know what it is. It goes all the way around the cliffs. We've made it from the top of the cliffs. We're just in Dover town now. Look at the architecture on that. Look at that. All the old buildings around here, apart from them flats. <laughs> We're just having a walk now to the seafront. Yeah, it's nice. Check these out, guys. Look at that. That one was built in 1853. Oh, that looks nice, Italian restaurant. <laughs> Look at that. This is a little underpass that leads you to the beach. Look at that. Hey look, that's when we used to have the hovercrafts here, Judy. We used to have hoverloid here and hover speed. Yeah. This is like a little subway. We can hear the main road, we're going right underneath the main road now. We just have a look at what this is, in memory of the comrades who fell during the Indian campaigns of 1857, 1858 and 1859. Wow. 
as you can see there's a harbour over there walk down to the beach guys oh my god look there's no sand it's pebbles here in Dover I miss me sand in Ramsgate look at that sea it's lovely and blue tell you what though it's not warm down here is it Judy bloody freezing guys guys check that out I've often wondered what that is as I've drove by it's a memorial seen it before no it's the first time i've seen it yeah, it's been here about three years cool um, um first world war in its ceremony yeah, yeah. and uh, it used to blow all the poppies around did it yeah wow we run the uh, that's the seafood stuff yeah, yeah. we used to be run that and uh it used to quite often the, uh... guys i hope you was listening to that information that man was telling me about that um World War I soldier statue. Look, we're just walking down the seafront a bit more. Apparently, we're on a hunt for a bar. There might be a bar down here. He weren't sure if it's open today, right on the harbour. So we're gonna have a look. Be rude not to. Just entering Dover Marina now, guys. Oh, it's a bit different to Ramsgate, Judy. <laughs> what, what, this is bigger? No, I think Ramsgate's bigger. Yeah, definitely. Is that the bar over there he was going on about? Right, guys, we've walked miles to show you Dover. Check those boats' names out, and one of those is a hint to my next vlog. I'm not going to say no more, but just check the names out. Guys, who remembers these? We've actually found one. Oh my god. Don't say it's actually in use, it's got a telephone box in it. I've never seen one in use, have you, for years? Wow, that's unbelievable. Right, guys. We've had a pit stop. What's the pub called? What's Prince it? Albert. We're in the Prince Albert in Dover. We need a drink. A couple of Bacardi's and Coke. You know it. Cheers, guys. We're back home now. We're aching like mad. How many steps did we do, Judy? 11,000. We've done 11,000 steps, guys. 11,000. So I'm just knocking up a little bit of salad, cold turkey from yesterday bit of stuffing, pork pie, a um, bit of quiche, a few chips in the air fryer and then we're gonna have a nice chill out night because it's both back to work tomorrow. Right guys that's mine and Judy's salad for tonight so we've got a bowl of chips, we've got a bit of coleslaw, pork pie, pickle, quiche, turkey, stuffing, oh a bit of fresh coriander on the salad you know it makes sense so yeah that's what we got. That's a bit of uh, the old leftovers from the turkey leftovers from yesterday. Very nice. We need that after that bloody long walk today. Right, guys. We're just tucking into this nice, lovely salad. Um, I hope you all had a good weekend. I'm totally knackered. After all those steps today, I'm done. I'm actually done. Back to work tomorrow. Who are? Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, guys. I'm going to catch you all next weekend.